with you guys. So we just finished up a first thing CPR class for a bunch of kids and we are at the park as you can hear. So the first thing, the only thing we're going over today is the life vac that we carry in here. So we have a life vac, which once again is a secondary device for us to use when choking, traditional choking methods fail. People had traditional methods of back blows, chest thrusts and abdominal thrusts, uh, Heimlich maneuver done and they failed. So I believe in a secondary device because I've had to refer, re, we had to, we had to use a secondary device to save uh, children's lives in the fire department as a medic. So this is gonna, this is your travel pack. Comes in this cool little yellow bag. Has some instructions in here. Both of your masks, you get an adult and a child mask. They both come wrapped in paper. I say to take, it says on here not to take, take them out of the paper until you need them. There's nothing sterile about these. So I say take them out of the paper. I stick one of the wrappers in between. So when I pull them out, they basically fall apart. So we've got an adult and a child mask. We have our plunger device. The number one mistake people will make when they put these together is they just push this in and go to use it. And then when we go to remove the object out of the baby's mouth, we press, press and the top comes off. So I always teach, and so does life back, that you wanna place this in, push and twist so it locks in, okay? Now hypothetically, say we are, we have a, a choking baby here at the park and we wanna do what's called, we do our back blows and chest thrusts. And so baby, the traditional choking for a baby is your back blows, three, four, five, turn the baby over, bring the arm in here, one, two, three, four, five, then we rotate the baby over. This is while the baby's conscious, right? Now, if the baby goes unresponsive, now that's where we wanna go. Once we would be on the ground, this is for instruction only. Now I wanna use my life vac, right? So I wanna, some people just go straight to life vac. Your traditional method would be 30 compressions, look in the airway, pull something out if you see it, attempt two breaths. But the way we wanna use the life vac is a strictly life vac video. Put our mask in, we wanna place this, press down and pull up, place, press and pull up to remove the object and you can see it pulled out. Now at this point, maybe the baby starts crying that's good, make sure you get the baby to the hospital, have them evaluated at a hospital. If the baby does not wake up and start crying, in most of the videos where this is used, the baby wakes up. But if the baby does not wake up, then we're gonna go into our traditional CPR, which is why you should get some hands on CPR. So our 30 compressions to two breaths, compressions to thumb, or 30 compressions, which will link the videos up here to our infant seasons. Looked in the airway, nothing came out, or we couldn't see anything, we attempted two respirations. Now we're gonna attempt two pulls on our life back. We place, press, and pull right and the object comes out hopefully the baby starts crying if the baby does not start crying then we want to con continue 30 compressions to two breaths if the baby does start crying it's absolutely important that you get the baby to the hospital evaluated by medical professionals at the hospital have a good day you guys